just pure Colonel yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome to Attack of the Show. Hello, stick cameras out there. I was hey, checking everybody. The show. Uh, we're TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. My name is Kevin Ferreira. Hey, everyone, I'm Libby Mudd. Uh, it's okay Wednesday, August 1st, and we are coming to you live from G4 Studios in Los Angeles. Right. Now, on today's show, we tracked down the cast of Heroes at Comic Con and got inside. We got all the info on what's coming up in season two. Plus, Morgan Webb will drop by to discuss the sexy foursome that is Halo 3 online co-op when we take a little game break. Then, alternate reality games are popping up all over the place, but is anyone really buying them? We'll find out in the loop. And we'll dive into my rack and look at a magazine that shows you how to do everything better from jumping off a roof to getting yourself fired. Ooh, I know how to do that. How? Uh, can't. Oh, okay. Can't. Don't do it. I thought Don't about do just I dropping a couple. I like working with you. Okay, thanks. I like working with you. But now it's time to unleash the raw fury of the web. Oh, so close. <laughs> Only the best tubes get clogged and uh, when we go around the net. <laughs> okay. Got to kill that stick cam man, Howard. Starting off the list at number five is an upcoming semi-MMO called Wolf Quest. Now, you won't be fighting goblins and orcs in this game. Developed by the Minnesota Zoo and EduWeb, Wolf Quest teaches you about the social interactions and behavior of real-life wolves. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, because the game is, is being developed for mm -hmm. educational purposes, yeah. right, they don't, really, they don't really have much of an advertising budget. Wolf Quest is a new breed of video game that supports real learning with riveting gameplay. Wild Wolf. Playing alone or with others online, you must join a wolf pack and work together in your quest for survival. Players must master wolf communication and behavior. Oh, he it, lifted his little wolf leg. Was it me, or was that commercial cut with Windows Movie Maker? Yeah. It that, looked pretty bad. It's sort of like an iMac. <laughs> well, what about the kid? Well, it's okay. It's okay, because I think the money that they saved making the commercial and on the actor's uh, hairstylist, yeah. the little machine, apparently, uh -huh. uh, they could bring us stunning imagery with the like? money that they saved like this. Well, look at this intense battle scene oh, man. between a wolf and an elk cow. Look at that. Well, and... He's nipping at them. Well, that's the looking at it. Yeah. Look at that. Something. The communication system is innovative. Here, a wolf hunts down and growls I to get that another person, player like, growl, to back away. Growl. That's right. And here's how you show ownership, which, incidentally, is the reason no one ever wants to borrow DVDs from Kevin. Look, it's a lot cheaper than buying a label maker. P-Touch cartridges, super expensive. <laughs> I know. I mean, I'll bring it back. Well, that's fine. It's going to smell. Employee of the month. The You'll same. get it back. It's cheaper. <laughs> All right, let's move it on. we got to get to uh, number, number four, four, right? Number four, yeah. Number four is a list of hacks for your old NES console, and I'm sure you guys all have one sitting in your closet. Everybody has to Well, have. the site DIY Life has a long list of new uses for your classic NES system, ranging from the useful to the horribly inefficient. Hmm. In fact, we've got an NES alarm clock there right there. Is. Not yeah. bad. I like about, it. Well, there's an NES belt buckle as well, or the classy NES cell phone. Hey. So, well, there's the belt buckle. There so it is. You can forget the iPhone nonsense. Yeah, that, that it's the NES. Or if you guys are looking for some place to keep your cash, try your hand at GamePad Wallet. I like that. And if you're looking to earn the envy of music-loving nerds everywhere, build yourself a badass yeah, NES that one, guitar. I've seen that one, and that's, that's no. crazy. It's awesome, though. Does it work? I'm a fan of it. No, I mean, I've never actually played okay. it. But I couldn't play guitar to save my life. Yes, you could. Come and at number three today is a classic trick play by a high school football team. This is awesome. I love this clip. This clip did explode onto the net a couple of days ago, but it's still at the top of many viral sites. I think you guys will understand why. Go. He was selling, he's like, and he look, to, I don't get it. And then and he, he starts, starts to pick, to up, pace. pick up pace. Yeah. Hooks. Now, of course, like, there's comments. And the comments on the video mention that the team should get a 15-yard penalty oh, for, on. and what they're calling it, an illegal act to deceive. 
But, of course, we asked our office jocks, and they said this is an acceptable play. Yeah, like, while there's no actual hike, the center yeah. does technically snap the ball to the quarterback. All the team had to do was play a cash until the coach, yeah. you know, told the QB to hike and hightail it to the end zone. It was Which totally fine. There you go. Totally legal, and bam! There he goes. He's off. I applaud that. That is, that is a good play. It is great. Now, the annexation I... of Puerto Rico, it's called. <laughs> and I have to say, this is a great example for the kids. You know, if you, if you can't play by winning the rules, all you have to do is trick and deceive others. And... What I have found is that the true path to success is found by running away from all of your problems. That is true. And usually I constantly see you in tears and running yeah. at full speed from anything. From anything. Yeah. And it's okay. And, and then it's the, a good tactic. But when you run fast, the wind blows away the tears. Yeah. And, and then they gone. catch your adversaries behind you. They get blinded. Exactly. Everybody wins. Exactly. There you go. And number two today is a fascinating nature video, especially if you're a confused zombie boy at a county fair. I like turtles. Sorry. This video is proof that the, uh, the D-bag is a natural phenomenon occurring everywhere, from high school locker rooms to the normally gentle terrapin. Mm. Sure, we would never fight turtles. Okay, are they okay? Weak. Have that one taken care of. <clears throat> this is a trio of preteens with uh, exceptional music ability. Their high-profile video about the band's favorite hobby, playing video games. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really, it's 100% ear candy. <laughs> Enjoy. Okay. Uh, look, it was a, I think it was a genius move. I mean, these okay. kids, they have a band. Obviously, they have a budget for a music video. Yeah. I mean, you saw our, our turtle fighting. We didn't even have, you know, lights going crazy. Uh -huh. and they had a whole stadium packed. And then they sing about the Xbox 360. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty sweet move. You think? I mean, you're going like, you know, to get some hot chicks with it? Yeah, you're not going to score like Hayden Panettiere, but you... Then who would you get? A couple groupies. Not Hayden, but... You get something like the, the Kids Incorporated tail. Oh! Like the old leftovers. Like yeah. Fergie? She, she, yeah. Oh, God. All right, so you like get a man beast. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's awesome. Now, you guys, uh, I have to say, Kevin didn't think that he could, uh, you know, anything could take the place in his heart from Chocolate Rain, but no. I, I, obviously you found a winner. I just want to play video games. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Maybe you should make a video. Terrible video. <laughs> Be sure to head on over to g4tv.com slash around the net and sign up for the Around the Net podcast. It's delicious. Right now, it's time for the only news you need to know. Here's Layla Cayley and the feed headlines. Thanks, guys. Here's what's coming up in the feed. First, we'll tell you who the big winners were at the 2007 Game Critics Awards. Plus, the iPhone received its first software update and we'll give you all the details. And despite Sony's stance on pornography, it could end up on Blu-ray in the near future. It's all coming your way in just a few minutes, but first, back to you guys. Thanks, Lana. Now, still making headlines. Seven, the awards show for gamers. American leadership at its finest. Go to G4TV.com to vote and watch the awards Wednesday at 8, only on G4. You're going to wake up in a whole new America tomorrow. Hey, Lana, what's going on? 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 Comic Con? Totally. That, you know, before we had that question, which one, before E3, they said, what are you more yeah. excited about, E3 or Comic Con? And I still said, like, I was excited for E3, a chance to yeah. see the upcoming games, get play some real good next-gen yeah. stuff, and it was an awesome event. But, but we didn't get to that much chance to actually play things, right? because so, right. we were talking. Right. Talking but at Comic Con, there. we had plenty of time to actually meet the fans oh, man, and we met, meet so many cool celebrities. Yeah, we, like, I spent five hours talking with fans, and we, we got to meet a lot of really cool people that are making some 
great movies. Yeah. I spent like a whole five minutes walking from the hotel to the convention center, waving at fans from afar, <laughs> and then completely ignoring them. And it was like, man, just a yeah. real chance it's nice to, be out to there, completely really disconnect from the people who care the All most. Right. It was just so, mm, so rewarding. So thanks, I love guys. you guys, and I appreciate you. And also, Stephen, thanks for the question. Yeah. But we just saw a shiny red ball, and we need to move on. Over we, here, Kevin. Oh, right here. now, it's time for the only news you need to know. Where's the ball? Yeah. Uh, the, the news is in the feed. The ball's over here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Layla Kaylee, and it's time to start the feed. E3 may have ended a couple of weeks ago, but now the critics are weighing in on the Expo's game. The Game Critics Awards were just handed out, and Rock Band was the big winner, taking awards for Best in Show, Best Hardware, and Best Casual Game. BioWare's Mass Effect grabbed awards for Best Console Game and Best RPG, and in the PC category, Crisis won Best Game. Surprisingly enough, Xbox 360 titles garnered the most awards, 11 in all, while Nintendo was in last place. The PlayStation 3 has been touting its impressive hardware since day one, and now they might finally put it to good use. Sony's head of marketing in New Zealand recently stated that the console would have DVR functionality in March, in time for the country's launch of Freeview, which currently offers free digital television in England. However, there's no word on whether or not the U.S. will get this functionality, so there are rumors that we might hear an announcement from Leapseek. Stay tuned. The iPhone has finally received its first downloadable update, though it lacks any major surprises. The software update 1.01 mainly addresses security flaws within the handheld Safari browser. Specifically, the hack addresses, the flaw, which would allow someone to hijack your phone and take complete control. Unfortunately, there's no instant messaging or any of those rumored widgets that were discovered this week. To get the patch, all you need to do is connect your phone to iTunes and click Sync. The next expansion to World of Warcraft may have been accidentally leaked by Germany's video games ratings board. The German rating organization listed a title called World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King on its website, which is a previously unheard title. Blizzard has announced a new World of Warcraft expansion in the future, but hasn't released any details yet. They're expected to officially unveil the expansion at this weekend's BlizzCon. And finally, the high-def format war is starting to heat up with, believe it or not, porno. Previously, Sony had not allowed adult entertainment companies from using its Blu-ray disc production facilities, and now a Japanese company has found a workaround by using Blu-ray facilities in Taiwan. Sony's refusal to allow adult content on its media is widely credited with the failure of their Betamax format in the 70s. They need to chill. Well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Get all the news you need to know anytime, anywhere on your mobile phone. More info available at g4tv.com slash mobile. I'm Layla Cayley, and you've just been fed. Back to you guys. Comic-Con Mix. Welcome back to Attack of the Show. We're live on August 1st, and it's time to give the fragging a rest for a few minutes. Let's go over to Kevin right now. I'm giving you the next few seconds to wind up those damn wired controllers and put the games back in their cases. Or not. I mean, hey, it's, it's your money. I'm just saying, it's time for a game break. To my left, gamer extraordinaire, Miss Morgan Webb. Thank you for joining us today. It's always good to be here. Uh, now, Morgan and I, yeah. we, have a, we have a ton to discuss, we including the, uh, the Xbox 360 price cut, which I think rumored, is but more than yeah, a rumor at this rumor. point. But you've got some news to start with first. So. I sure do. Okay, anyway. first up, we have big news regarding Halo 3. At a recent Microsoft press conference in Amsterdam, Bungie revealed a new four-player co-op mode. Yes! I said four-player co-op. Mm. Yes, you can play with three other friends through the campaign mode via system link or online over Xbox Live. And if your Xbox friends are physically on hand, the co-op mode also works with two-player split screen. Gamers will all be, also be able to join up with friends and start a new campaign or continue from any previously saved checkpoint. That's nice. And while player one controls Master Chief and player two controls the Arbiter, players three and four will play as two newly created elite characters. Bungie also made it clear that every player will have identical abilities. The only differences between each player will be their appearance and the weapon they start off with. 
Next, we've got news on the well-established relationship between Rockstar Games and Sony. IGN.com is reporting that the creators of the Grand Theft Auto series are planning to debut a brand new exclusive Rockstar franchise on the PlayStation 3. The name and specifics of the franchise have not been revealed, but Rockstar was able to confirm it has nothing to do with their upcoming 1940s detective title, L.A. Noir. This announcement follows in the wake of Microsoft's deal with Rockstar, who will provide exclusive episodic content for the Xbox 360 version of Grand Theft Auto 4. And finally, on the heels of last week's Comic-Con, we have news that a new Marvel fighting game is in development. Publishing giant Electronic Arts has struck a deal with the Superhero Factory to bring popular characters from the Marvel Universe into the next-gen fighting genre. EA Chicago, which is the development team behind Fight Night Round 3 and Def Jam Icon, will head up the project. Well, at Comic-Con, the vice president of EA Chicago, Kudo Tsunoda, revealed that the game will feature huge environments and fresh gameplay. As a spiritual successor of the multi-platform titled Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfect, the Marvel Fighter will be considered the beginning of an entirely brand new franchise. The game is currently planned to appear on both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 in 2008. All right, well, that's uh, a lot of news. A, a ton of news, and yeah. thank you for getting through it, but we got to get back to the Halo multiplayer. You know, I mean, four-player co-op, come on, this is huge, right? I love G4. You just walk into work in the morning and everyone's like, did you hear about Halo? Right. And you're like, the co-op? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. awesome. Everybody's really excited, and it's great to have some new news because we've heard really a lot about Halo already. I'll be honest. Like, I played the, the, the beta online, and I said, okay, it, it's, it's Halo. It's more the same, and I kind of lost a little bit of excitement for this game, and now with this announcement, I feel like I'm back in it. I mean, it's because you're jaded. Am I, am I just too jaded? Gamer. I don't know. I felt like it was the same experience online, and I'm excited now to take the co-op online. So yeah. for me, it was a big deal, but... Let's get to the price of the actual 360. I mean, obviously, a lot of people looking to pick, pick up a system if they don't already own one. And, and we a, got Madden coming out. You know, we, we've got good games coming this out. This is the Bioshock month. Let us not forget. So They're trying to sweeten the deal a little well, bit. Well, 50 bucks off, what do you think? Is this a move that they had to make because of the PlayStation 3 or because the Wii sales are catching up? I think, I think what it is, it's been out long enough at this point. They have the units flowing. They've sold a lot of games. I think they're just giving that extra little kick in the pants to people who, who are thinking about buying Madden, thinking about buying an Xbox 360. Now they have some news. They have buzz going and trying to get people excited. And if, is $50 enough to generate that kind of excitement? I think 50 bucks is enough to generate news and getting people thinking about getting an Xbox 360. And if they were kind of on the fence, maybe they'll right. say, hey, now's the time. Now, you know, at, at uh, E3, Microsoft was completely mum on this. I mean, their lips were sealed. They said, yeah. oh, no price drops in the future. Do you think they knew at that point that they were going to drop the price, but they wanted to let Sony get their stuff out of the way and then steal the of thunder? Of course they knew, because right now there isn't a whole lot of gaming news out right now. It's kind of the calm before the storm, so they figured, right, well, slip it in right now. Do you think you might pick up uh, an Xbox 360 now that they're 50 bucks cheaper? Maybe I'll get another one. Don't you have like 12 at home <laughs> sitting like, just in stacks, and half the fun is figuring out which games My and which My coffee console? table is actually made of Xbox oh, 360s. Nice. Are they bricked, or are they actually working ones? Yeah, they're, 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 they're dead. Okay, just making sure. All right, that's it for today's Game Break, folks, but there's more gaming fun after our show today. Yes, up next, X-Play rocks funny video games and shows you some of our favorite comedy skits in the groundbreaking special, X-Play's Funniest Crap Ever. Find out what Adam and Morgan <laughs> deem the funniest and least funny, as well as check out bloopers and behind-the-scenes look at uh, Solid Snake on a Plane and Kratos Jones, which is <laughs> one of my favorites. The exclusive one-hour special is coming up right after Attack of the Show, so go to g4tv.com slash X-Play for more information. You. you guys, don't go anywhere. In just a few minutes, we'll talk to the cast of Heroes and find out what's in store for season two. Stay with us. You won't regret it. Her game on. Thanks, Kev. Now, you guys, forget going to the beach. Stay inside and fire up those consoles. Here's some of the hottest video games arriving in stores this week. It's time to attack this. We have Mario Strikers charged for the Wii. Any soccer game or football, if you're non-American, Mario and friends battle for possession of a metallic ball and try to put one past the goalie, but with a twist. All the characters in the game have special moves. For instance, Mario grows into Super Mario and can stomp his opponent. His evil nemesis, Wario, emits a green cloud of gas that reverses the controls of whoever runs through it. It also grosses out whoever is playing it as well. Next, brace yourself for the nerdy goodness that is Dungeons & Dragons Tactics, available now on the PSP. The turn-based strategy game features all the classes from D&D, &D, so your inner barbarian, druid, or wizard can be truly unleashed. The game features wireless multiplayer modes, as well as co-op and death matches. No longer confined to the basement, 
Dungeons & Dragons can now scare off girls wherever you roam. Just take it with you. Next up from the Wii's virtual console, we have the headbanging goodness that is Dynamite Hetty. Originally made for the Sega, this retro favorite is helmed by the star puppet Hetty. He defeats his enemies by shooting his detachable head at them, wreaking havoc along the way. The game is played in multiple scenes and acts, and of course, Hetty can change heads to gain certain powers and capabilities necessary to defeat the dark demon minions. This throwback is a must and promises to knock your block off. Finally, we have Marathon Durandal. Today, Bungie rules the, the video game world with Halo, but the groundwork was laid here. The main character looks suspiciously like Master Chief, and the expansive multiplayer mode includes King of the Hill and an early version of Oddball. Originally released in 1995, the game is now available again on the Xbox Live Arcade. The updated release will run at 60 frames a second, twice that of the original, and it will run you 800 Microsoft points. This is one of the better titles to come across the arcade in a bit, so make sure you guys pick it up. Head on over to g4tv.com slash AOTS for info on all these titles and lots more. And don't forget to check out Code Monkeys, G4's new animated comedy. <laughs>